Hello, it's good to have you back. I love the benefits of short exposures. Exposures between 1 and 10 seconds are less affected by atmospheric turbulences than exposure times between, for example, 3 or 5 minutes. Furthermore, your guiding does not have to be ultra precise. To make it short, short exposures are an interesting way to get sharper images of small deep sky objects. While the benefits sound good, there are of course some deficits. You collect a huge amount of data on your hard drive. If you take 60 one second shots instead of one image consisting of 60 seconds. So how to deal with this huge amount of data? There are several ways to handle this problem. At first you can use a smaller room of interest, but be careful that your image contains enough clearly visible stars, otherwise it's maybe not possible to stack the images. Second, you can record raw videos, for example with fire capture, and stack those with, for example, auto stackard. So you could record 5 minute videos, stack them and afterwards you stack the 5 minute stacks. Another option, which I think is very interesting, is SharpCap's live stacking function. The live stacking function can be found and activated here. Then the program doesn't start to take simply single images, no, it tries to stack as many images as possible. If you choose a camera with a sensor that is big enough to show enough stars or a focal length that makes this possible, the program starts automatically to stack all single images into one. It is a good possibility if you want to show friends what can be seen, because after a few seconds most deep sky objects become clearly visible on your monitor. Furthermore, you have the opportunity to record and save only stacked images. So you can combine the best of both worlds. A lot of short exposed images, but without using very much space on your hard drive. For the cracks out there, it is possible to save the single images as well in addition, if you want to stack them afterwards with other stacking tools. So, I tried this function, which made me very curious when I first heard of it. I decided to try it on a bright and relative small object, the famous and beautiful Messier 27, or so-called Dumbbell Nebula in the Cygnus constellation. I used my hated and beloved torpedo, the GSO 8-inch F5 Newton, my ZWO 1600 MCC camera and my Celestron CG EM mount. I guided the scope with a small Orion 50mm guiding scope and my ZWO ASI 290MC planetary camera. I recorded 5 minute stacks, consisting each of 65 second exposures. In total I collected 24 images, so the total exposure time measures exactly 2 hours. I didn't want to invest more value exposure time in testing a new function, you know sometimes it can be simply a waste of time. I'm not a person who reads hours and hours what experiences others shared with this or that way of imaging. I love to try it myself, even if it means that you can fail. So, fail or no fail, this is up to you. This is what came out. As you can see, all in all, the image looks okay to me. But it seems as if some signal got lost. Of course, two hours of exposure time is not a very long time. But I can imagine that stacking signal images could maybe lead to a better image. But that is only an assumption due to how it looks if I try to stretch the image harder. At least I can say it wasn't wasted time. Sadly, the images were not compatible with the flats and bias frames I took. But the field of view was small enough, so that wasn't a big deal. But it is still an important factor in answering the question whether I would record again an image using this procedure. That this way of imaging works quite well, even without flats, makes it an interesting option for photographing very small planetary nebulae. You can find lots of them in the summer Milky Way. I will definitely try this again on a very small planetary nebula with my Schmidt Cassegrain with two and a half meters of focal length or more, as long as you can see enough stars so that sharp cap is able to stack the images, you're good to go. Thank you for watching. I hope I could encourage you to try this nice function of sharp cap yourself. 
If you liked this video, I would be really happy if you click on thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you are interested in watching my upcoming Astor photography videos. Right now I'm checking regularly how the sky looks early in the morning, so I hope I will be back soon with my first this year's images of Saturn and Jupiter. Clear skies.